Hey guys, and CS Fan 001 here, welcoming you to part 19 of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. So actually, between videos, I did try to go into the uh, Mick and Ralph's, and it still doesn't work, even with all the auto saves and stuff disabled. But I do think this game's going to be a lot easier to finish now that I have, you know, made it to where the auto save is disabled, and things seem to be going a lot more smoothly. So, I'm liking that, actually. So, sort of the next thing I think we're going to want to do is... Boone, you still following me? Boone! Okay. Actually, I should probably re-equip my gear. Uh, I'll just put the normal leather armor on right now. And I also need to go sell a lot of crap because I don't need half the stuff that I have right now. So we'll transit out to the gun runners. Uh, also, in the last, or two videos ago, I was talking about uh, Vault 21, and Carnivorous Monster actually confirmed that I was right about there being 17 control vaults, and that Vault 21 was a vault where everything was worked out by gambling. So thanks to him for doing that, and go check out his channel. He's got a pretty good Let's Play of Fallout New Vegas from a couple years ago. And I think he wants to do Fallout 3 at some point in the coming year. So, yeah, go check him out. I am honestly very, 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 very freaking tempted to buy the Reinforced Mark II Combat Armor. But I don't want to do it yet because it's not in very good condition. And later on, we should be able to get it in better condition. So, for now, we are not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to actually keep the 357 since we found so much ammo for it for free. So, I'm going to keep it for now. I'm going to keep all that. Hmm. I'm not going to need that. I'm not going to need that. Maria is freaking epic. I cannot wait to use it. Uh, pool cues. Don't need those. Don't need the sledges. And eh, don't need the spike knuckles either. I'll buy a 22 caliber revolver though. Or revolver. Handgun at some point that we can sneak into the casinos. Just in case we need it. Sexy sleepwear, because I am sexy girl. Okay, uh... And I know that my followers are carrying some of my drinking stuff. And actually, I always... No, it's not gecko steaks. It's, uh... There's one... I think it's a different type of gecko meat that has... That actually makes you lose strength. So, I always sell that whenever I have it. So, you'll see me sell that. Hmm, what else can I sell out of my current inventory? I don't really need the sarsaparillas that badly. Uh, what else do we have? I never really understood what Turbo does, so I'm just going to sell that. I never really liked it. Okay, so we've got 500 caps currently. Uh, we are going to keep the pressure cooker, certainly. Going to sell all of our pre-war money and our sensor modules. Because we'll need the pressure cooker in a short time. Wow, that was a lot of, of those. I'm almost tempted at... Actually, you know what? I'm going to hold on to these for now because they are worth a lot of money. And I'm going to hold on to them for now. Because I can probably get more for them later on. So, I don't think it would be a good idea to sell it now. Uh, what does he have that I'm going to want, though? Let's see what he's got in guns. Ooh, the anti-material rifle. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to take the battle rifle because I don't think it's that good personally. God, that's expensive. Uh, I'm curious, though. Well, I could buy a hunting rifle because that would not be a bad weapon to have right now. Medicine stick is epic, but it's so expensive. Service rifle. I'm not going to take that, though. All right, I'll go ahead and buy this pistol from him because it's full condition and cheap. He doesn't have a sniper rifle. Crap. A sniper rifle would be so good. You know what? I'm going to buy his hunting rifle, and I am going to buy a scope or an attachment for it of some kind. Ooh, I'm going to... No, I don't actually need that anymore now that I've got Maria. So... Hunting rifle scope. We want that. See if there's anything else in here that I might want for now. I may go ahead and buy these for now because I'm eventually going to be using a sniper rifle because the sniper rifle is actually pretty good. So I'm going to be buying that for now and holding on to it. 
and I don't really need any of this other stuff. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and sell my 9mm pistol with the scope on it because I really don't need it anymore. Because I've got a 9mm submachine gun and I've got Maria. So 6,100 caps in the hole. That's quite a bit. So actually, I'm going to see what alcohol or whatever these guys are carrying. I don't know what they're carrying Fly now. By me. Oh, crap. Yeah, I guess I don't have much. Well, I guess I just didn't scavenge everything from upstairs. or Either that or I gave it to Eddie. Why are you holding on to that? It's not even worth it, Boom. Ah, he does have my alcohol. Yes, and my drinks. Ah, uh, we'll let him hold on to the sarsaparillas for now, and we'll let him hold on to the uh, vodkas, because vodkas are actually pretty valuable. I'm going to let him hold on to those, though, because, like I just said, they're actually pretty valuable. And I'm not selling the flamer fuel just yet, even though I sold the incinerator. The reason being, there are some very, very good, uh... What am I trying to think of? There... The flamer in this game can be a lifesaver for when you have to fight one of the most annoying enemies in the game, which luckily we haven't had to fight one yet. Oh, we want to keep that, actually. But there's a very, very annoying enemy that we will have to fight later on in the game called the Cosador. They're basically mutated flies, but they are extremely annoying because if they actually manage to hit you, they will pretty much screw you up pretty badly, like... They pretty much will... I'm trying to think of what it's called. I guess it's poisoning. And it's really, really annoying if it happens because it takes forever to wear off and you lose a ton of health during it. Oh, great. My dog is barking. Uh, okay, so we're still quite a few caps in the hole, but I think that having that hunting rifle is going to be a pretty good investment. You know, my dog has gone to where, like, he barks at everything now, including the mailman. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, he's one of those stereotypical dogs that barks at the mailman. Okay, so this is the hunting rifle scope. Unfortunately, uh, let me check what condition this is. Okay, so we need a 50 gun skill and a strength of 6 to use this at its, like, best. We have a strength of 6, and I don't know why we're actually suffering, I think it's because... Okay, that's our problem, is that guns isn't really low enough yet, because I think that right now... Yeah, we're not carrying enough weight to have our st stats at their normal level, unfortunately. But I'd say the hunting rifle is a pretty good investment of caps for now, because the sniper rifle's better. But some will argue that the anti-material rifle isn't worth it, and sometimes I would be in that boat. And the reason being, the anti-material rifle, though it's extremely devastating when it hits... It's kind of glitchy, it's not all that accurate, and it's very, very slow. Not to mention, to use it effectively, you need, I believe, an 8 strength and a 100 gun skill. It may actually be a 10 strength, and it's down to 8 with one of the perks. Oh wow, a lot of stuff in there. So to be perfectly honest, I'm probably not going to take it, because it's really only worth it if you're going to be playing around for a really long time. Huh. What am I picking up here? Oh, it's an NCR patrol, never mind. I was hoping it was some random tourists or something that we could pick off. So am I going in the right direction for this? Huh? That's weird. It's kind of weird. Uh, we're just gonna walk out randomly to where it's... It's trying to make me walk through the building. I feel like this might be a trap, though, for some reason. I, I almost feel like this was a trap when I first played through, so... Oh, yeah, I see an enemy coming up. Two enemies. Let's duck down. Oh, wait, they're just rat scorpions, so... Okay... Goodbye! Sneak attack critical. Owned. Yes, like I said, hunting rifle is epic, but since we're going to be getting kind of up close and personal with these enemies, I'm going to pull out Maria. Like I said, this is a very, very good 9mm weapon, 13 round clip semi-automatic pistol. It's quite powerful, actually. Hey, Boone, you just made me waste a bullet. Nice. Ooh, two rat scorpion poison glands. There is no dart gun in this game, but the fact that the rat scorpion poison glands actually sell pretty well make them worthwhile to pick up. So are we getting close to our destination? Yes, we are. Ah, uh, maybe it's this guy right up here. 
but I am picking up three or four enemy signatures up here as well. I hope he doesn't flee because there's enemies around. Are you the Van Graft? I am. Do you have a... Who is we? We were told there would be no... It's right here. Huh. Then our business... Deliver the package. Alright, since we're actually coming back to the strip up here... Ah, uh, let's see, this would be faster. I am actually going to head back onto the strip, probably, so we can go to the Tops Casino, because there's a little bit of business we want to... Actually, you know what? I can wait and do that, because we need a higher barter skill before we can get all the rewards from that. So, I'm going to hold off on that, but it's it's one of the trophy-based quests, and it's actually worth quite a bit, in terms of, like, rewards and stuff. So the reason I'm working with the Van Graffs is because we'll get a very good set of combat armor and because they sell energy weapons, so if you're going to be an energy character, then they are very well worth taking. Running and jumping, running and jumping, running and jumping. So like I said, we're not going to do GI Blues, because, which is the King's Quest, just because it will screw up your reputation with the NCR. Really dead? Stop by the Silver Rush and we'll Arguably, those are the best means, but I personally prefer guns in this game. And now we're actually allowed to walk in with our weapons. I guess because we have impressed them. So yeah, this place has a lot of guards, as you can see, so it's a tough place to rob, but you pretty much have to be pretty well equipped to do it. Welcome back. Uh, I delivered the package. And? Good. Good. Now, Jean-Baptiste was talking about a matter earlier that... Well, I would have enjoyed being told what I was going to have to do first, and is there anything in this ash pile? Two bottle caps. Okay, sure, why not? Ah, just the person I was looking. My sister is very impressed with you so far, but I'm not. Luckily for you, I'm going to give you a chance to prove me wrong. Absolutely. All right, then. If we're going to work together, there's only one thing you need to know about me. I like things simple. Recently, Glory negotiated a deal between us and a big-time player. We're talking more caps than you probably see in a lifetime. Your part in this is simple. To finalize this deal, I need to tie up a loose... Who's the girl? Her name is Rose of Sharon Cassidy. That's some fancy shit, right? Don't know what her mother was... But this girl and I, we need to have a discussion. Fuck. You know where she is? Fuck no. If I knew where this bitch... Still, there's someone who might. Old Alice McLafferty. She keeps tabs on... I'll do it. Find her, bring her back here so we can talk. Well, actually, I know where she is because I have overplayed this game way too much, is that I have got, you know, over two or three hundred hours clocked in this game, even though I deleted those files to make the game run a little more smoothly, and I'm not really too disappointed in that because, to be perfectly honest, now that I've got Gamefly and games like The Last of Us that can keep me occupied for a long time, I really could care less about New Vegas now, even though I still love the game, it's just... It's just business. Got to do what's better uh, in that sense. It's it's going to help make the Let's Play run more smoothly with less freezing and less load times and stuff. So, I mean, why not? So, it's going to try to get us to go up there where she is. However, I happen to know that she is up here at the Mojave Outpost. Because, like I said, I've overplayed in this game. So, we're actually going to transit in from Prim to go do this. But guys, I think that's a pretty good stopping point for this video. So next time, we will head up to the Mojave Outpost and hopefully get close to finishing up this quest for the Silver Rush. So, see you guys then!